Hello everyone and welcome to the Malware Rescue Guide for removing Dreggle off of your computer. Uh, our machine here got infected with Dreggle uh, and we can take a look here and how exactly that looks like. Uh, so let's start off with Chrome. We'll open up Chrome here and we can see that instead of our default browser, uh, originally we get uh, Dreggle.com opening up here. It looks a lot like Google but it's not. Uh, if we do a search here it will go through and search through Yahoo and put in extra ads and all kinds of links and to the Yahoo search. It also opened up uh, an extra tab here with a bunch of different links. So that's a Dreggle in Chrome. Let's take a look at it in Explorer. Um, pretty much the same deal in Explorer and Firefox. Same deal in Firefox. Okay, so um, we'll go ahead and remove this, and we'll start off by going to our uh, control panel and uninstall programs. Uh, some of you may have Draggle here um, in your own installs, and some of you won't. Uh, on this particular install of Draggle, we didn't have an actual uh, Draggle to uninstall, uh, but it did uh, insert Chromium into here, so we're going to remove that since we don't really need it. Um, we have Google Chrome here, so we could remove Chromium, so we'll go ahead and uninstall that. Yes. 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 We'll let this process finish. Okay, you can see the icon disappeared here, and an explorer opened up. Uninstall completed. So it says we successfully uninstalled Dreggle, um, but we really haven't. If we open up Chrome, you can see it is still there. Okay, so uh, now let's go ahead and remove um, Dreggle off of each of our browsers, and we'll start off with Chrome. And Chrome's pretty simple. We open it up, we'll click on our little uh, hamburger here. First thing we'll do is we'll go to Extensions, uh, and that was under the hamburger here more tools extensions and we can see we have Dreggle new tab so let's go ahead and delete that remove so that's gone good next we'll click on a little hamburger and we'll go down <clears throat> uh, to settings and scroll all the way down to show advanced settings and scroll all the way down to reset settings so this is gonna reset all your Chrome settings uh, to their original defaults and this is the fastest easiest way to just reset everything so we'll go ahead and do that and reset give it a second here should be done let's test it Chrome voila done so now we can uh, go ahead and go to google.com or something and reset our home page as we normally would good so that's done okay so next we'll do uh, Internet Explorer Click on our Internet Explorer here, click on our little gear, and we'll go to Internet Options. Uh, we'll click on the Advanced tab here and uh, Reset Internet Explorer Settings. We'll hit Reset. Uh, make sure you click this Delete Personal Settings here. So we'll delete all your uh, cookies and uh, temporary Internet files, all that stuff. So let's click that. We'll hit Reset. Let that run. It's done. We hit Close. And open up Internet Explorer again. Looks good. Uh, one more thing we need to do in Internet Explorer. Click back on the gear. Uh, and we'll click on Manage Add-ons. And under Search Providers, we'll see... Let's click out of this. We'll see that Juggle is actually still here as our default search. So if you search inside... Uh, the toolbar here, or the address bar, I'm sorry, here, uh, you'll search through Juggle still. So what we'll do is we'll click on Bing and set that as our default. And then click on Dreggle and remove that. So that's that for Internet Explorer. All right, and lastly, we have Firefox. So let's click on our Firefox here. Wait for it to open up. Not now. Uh, click on our little hamburger and go down and click on the question mark. Troubleshooting information. Here it is. Refresh Firefox. So this is actually going to create a few folders on our desktop, and we'll just delete those. Uh, yes, finish. So this is going to make an old Firefox data folder. Now uh, we can just take this folder and delete it. The recycling bin, and that should be it.
Okay, so that was it. Uh, we removed Juggle off of our machine. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind is that if you had Juggle on your machine in the first place, chances are, almost 99% actually, is that you have other malware on your computer. So it's in your best interest to use some sort of a malware removal tool to scan and disinfect your computer. Uh, and we have that uh, in the links provided in the video description. So you can go ahead and go through those links and download those tools and uh, keep your computer clean. Um, I appreciate you for uh, listening to this and uh, I hope you found this helpful. And if you need further help, you can go to our discussion boards on our website or read through the actual written tutorial. Thank you.